Hey, here we are again, working on a, on a new version of the proof of concept we have been doing since KubeCom. I hope you remember that extraordinary demonstration we did at KubeCom. Last year, we introduced the own app as a provisioning system for our, our 5G network. And this year, we're gonna be pushing a little bit further and let's talk to you about that. But before that, I just want to remember that we have two labs working together. One part of the lab is in New Hampshire where we have the on-app deployment and the actual deployment of the 5G network is happening here in Montreal. And for that, work with me. I'm gonna show you the cool stuff that we have been working on. So work with me over there. We're gonna show you what we have been doing. Again, remember, we have two labs, one in New Hampshire, another one here in Montreal, where we have the actual network being deployed. Let's work with me, and i show you over here. Now, while the provision is coming up for New Hampshire, here we actually have the radios, okay, and the core network being deployed. Let me show you here what actually we have. This is our firelight cage for this year, and you can see inside that we have our radio, our phones, and some components that are required for the actual radio network deployment as well. And this is gonna show you in a minute, is everything has been deployed in containers using ONAP and health charts, as you can see here in the screen. And of course, the network that is relying on not only the, the infrastructure that is here, but as well, Remember that we have that site over there and the New Hampshire University. And of course, we have a whole complete network that's included. All the components and the Calum UPF that is functioning and providing part of the network slashing capability that we have been adding on here. So one thing that I want to show you as well is that this Faraday cage, we have the radio unit and this has been cabled all the way to our data center that is downstairs. But before going there, I want to show you something other. Okay, that antenna is being connected all the way to our patch panel over here. And we have as well our signaling for the timing that is ultra special and ultra required for the 5G. Now come with me, I'm gonna show you the rest of the installation that we have downstairs. And as I mentioned, here upstairs we have the actual radio configuration, everything cable down to our data center. That is downstairs and this is where we're gonna work now in a minute when the elevator shows up. Uh, here we are. So what about I see you in a minute downstairs guys? Thank you for joining me. Here we are in the ground floor where we have a small data center and I want to show you the rest of the stack. Where basically, it's through that door. Come with me. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit noisy because we have the whole computing power happening here. And the deployment of the core and the software for the radio is running actually here in our small data center. Of course, we are not using all of this just so that small rack where we have everything we need from the network graph to the network fabric to the server where we are running OpenShift with the containerized 5G core and 5G radio software and of course the UPF that is running directly here on the fabric. And let's go over there, that is a little bit noisy. So come with me outside. So just to let you know guys, we have been working on this for the past month building this new product concept that introduced own app for the provisioning and the network slicing to two data centers using SD1 technology all running cloud native on Kubernetes Red Hat OpenShift and of course we want you to join the community to work with us on this cool proof of concept that is gonna guide us to the super 5G blueprint that we are working in the community. <laughs> 